What is all that movement? You went. You did this. This is good. Like we try to find find where your comfort zone is. Okay, good. So what do you think of this, by the way? Good. And then just get used to where. Okay, this is where I want to start. There we go. That's it. Let's do it again. <laughs> Like you take a breath, you don't know. <gasps> yeah. This thing where you like kind of like it's really hard to describe. Your body would be into you like you would kind of your upper torso would kind of like whip back and then you would cue people that way, uh, not intentionally, but like you just kind of do it with your your in, introductions to songs sometimes and you didn't really do it at all. This piece, so nice job getting rid of that habit. If there's one thing about your conducting you think you need to improve on, uh, what would it be? Do you think I'm gonna minimize the uh, ensemble since they think what do you say? Yeah, I mean, it came and went. Sometimes you were a little too ictusy, and then sometimes it was just like, uh, what about the band? What do you think was the number one thing he would need to improve on going forward? You're very comfortable with your left hand. It's very expressive. <coughs> and I think you can uh, engage that in, in more different ways. You know, so, and the way to do that is maybe um, 
listen to this one day and know you're through with it, you know. Are you still conducting all together in your major? Yeah. Uh, okay. But uh, but if you go on and you might want to take the advanced conducting, you need a, uh, you need another course or whatever. So Dr. Trachtel. But I'll listen to this and maybe do anything but do this meter. Just kind of see if you can shake phrases or whatever, or listen to this the left hand and not engage it. And then you kind of ambidextrous freely do different things with uh, each hand. But I think that would be, for me, the next step for you would be to um, not be so symmetrical all the time. One thing I want to commend you on, you really knew your meter in this piece this time. There, there were a couple times where I think you could have flipped the usage of what you were doing. Like, like during the part before the solo, you decided to conduct all that, right? But then afterwards, where they have those nice long holds that grow and there's nothing else happening until the next beat, those ones you didn't show any beats where you might have wanted to to help them expand. So maybe like flipping the usage there where you, you hold out the, the stuff before the solo, but then actually conduct that crescendo and that's just a, a detail thing, but you knew what meter was what, and you just decided to do it that way, which is fine. Um, so I'm glad you're thinking about those things, and um, you did well doing, doing them where you did. So. Thank you, Gavin.